على قبيبك خير الخلق كلهم مولاي Is ya Maryamu. And behold, the angel said, O Mary, in the lahas tafaki, chosen thee, purified thee, chosen thee above the womb of all nations. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling, ask these Jews and Christians, come to common terms between us and you, between the Quran and the Bible. And we Muslims took the initiative 1400 years ago. Mawla. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We begin today's program with the recitation of the Holy Quran by Qari Ashfaq Qazi. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa idh qalat al-malaikatu ya Maryam in Why you can't 
The translation of the verses recited from chapter 3, verses 42 to 47 are as follows. I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the accursed. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Behold, the angels said, O Mary, Allah has chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly, prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen, which we reveal unto thee, O prophet, by inspiration. Thou wast not with them when they should be charged with the care of Mary, nor was thou with them when they disputed the point. Behold, the angels said, O Mary, Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and the hereafter, and of the company of those nearest to Allah. He shall speak to the people in childhood and in maturity, and he shall be of the company of the righteous. She said, O my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He said, Even so, Allah createth what he willeth. When he hath decreed a plan, he but said to it, Be, and it is. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's my pleasant duty to chair the meeting. on Christ, peace be upon him, in Islam. Dr. Shweb Sayed, the research manager of the Islamic Research Foundation, would be introducing the topic of the day. This would be followed by talk by Brother Sohel Baghdadi, followed by Brother Athar Khan. May I call upon Dr. Shweb Sayed to introduce the topic. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Nahmaduhu Nufalli Ala Rasulihi Al-Kareem. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem, Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim. Waja'alna ibnahu Maryama wa ummahu ayah. Fadakallah, Fadakallahu Malazim. Qala Rabbi Shahli Fadri wa Yafirli Amri, Wahlul Uqdatam Min Lifani, Yafqahu Qawli. May I greet you all with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. The subject as it is announced, Christ in Islam. Before we dwell in the subject, Christ in Islam, let us know what is Islam in brief. Islam, this word comes from an Arabic root word, film or film. Seen, lam, meme is the root word here which can be pronounced as film and film both. 
Film means submission and film means peace. Alhamdulillah, both these words we can find in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 208, where it says, O oh, you believe, enter into Islam wholeheartedly, completely. And in Surah Al-Anfal, chapter 8, verse number 60, when they seek for peace, grant them. So both these words, peace and submission, is the root word of the word Islam. Islam is not a new religion as mostly people understand and have this misconception that Islam is a new religion. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not the founder of this religion. Islam is the religion from the time immemorial. Islam is the religion of all the prophets of God. Alhamdulillah, Allah Subhanahu and prophets in every age and every period. In Surah Al-Fatih chapter 35 verse number 24, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Wa immin ummatin illa khalafi hanazir. There was never a people in the past without a warner having lived among them. Surah Al-Nahl chapter 16 verse number 36, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa laqad ba'asna fi kulli ummatin rasoola. For every ummah we have sent a messenger. God Almighty, to guide this mankind, he has sent messengers and prophets in every age. He sent revelations in every period, and this is mentioned in Surah Al-Raj, chapter 13, verse number 38, for every period we have sent a revelation kitab. We believe in all the prophets of God. In fact, right from the first prophet, Adam a.s., Till Prophet Muhammad in the tradition thousand prophets that came into this world. We do not deny any of the prophets of God. And just before Prophet Muhammad, the last and final messenger of God, Prophet Jesus too was the prophet sent to Bani Israel. And the ayah that I have just quoted. In Surah Al Mu'minun, chapter 23, verse number 50, which says, Waja'alna ibn Maryama, and we have made the son of Mary and Ummahu and his mother an ayah, a sign. Prophet Jesus, alhamdulillah, was the sign, a miracle to mankind. The Christians, they believe in Jesus Christ, the hero, Jesus among the Christians is accepted. They believe that Jesus Christ was miraculously born. Do the Muslims too believe that he was born miraculously? They believe that Jesus Christ was son of God. Later, Christians, they accept Jesus Christ as begotten son of God. Let us see whether Muslims or Quran confirms this that he is begotten son of God. The Christians, because of his birth and his uniqueness, they elevate him to the degree of divinity that he is God incarnate. Let us see what Quran has to say about this, whether Jesus Christ is really God incarnate. The Christians believe that he died for the sins of mankind. For the answers, inshallah, we'll have the program between Atar Muhammad Khan and Suhail Baghdadi on the topic Christ in Islam. Wa akhru dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. May I now call upon Brother Suhail Baghdadi to make his presentation on the topic. Respected Chairperson Dr. Muhammad Naik, Respected Dr. Shweb Sayyid, my co speaker Brother Athar Muhammad, my respected elders, and my dear brothers and sisters. I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Which means, peace, mercy, and blessings of Almighty God be on all of you. This is the same greeting with which which 
as we find mention the gospel of luke chapter 24 verse 36 where jesus said shalom alaikum this is a hebrew quotation which means peace be unto you same as we muslims say assalamu alaikum which means peace be upon you the islam is the only non christian faith which makes it an article of faith for its followers to believe in jesus christ peace be upon him we believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of almighty god we believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention which many modern day christians today do not believe we believe that he was the messiah translated as christ we believe that he gave life to the dead by god's permission we believe that he healed those born blind and the lepers by god's permission in fact no muslim is a muslim if he does not believe in jesus christ peace be upon him in this book the glorious quran there are no less than 15 chapters that speak about this mighty messenger of almighty god the titles which are given to him are masi which means christ he is called as ibn maryam which means the son of mary of allah he is called as ruh minhu almighty god says that he is a spirit proceeding from almighty god he is called a word from almighty god these are all respectable terms given to this mighty messenger of almighty god moreover he is called with his name no less than 25 times in the glorious quran now let us analyze what was his name the name that is used is isa this was his name in hebrew it's isa in classical it's yeshua but then the early christians they latinized this name by adding j and s to it and it became jesus peace be upon him but the name that was given to him by maryam alayhi salam by mary was isa peace be upon him and what about the name christ what is the meaning of the word christ the word christ is also translated from the hebrew word messiah in arabic it's masi which means anointed what the christians have done early christians they translated this word messiah into greek it became christos christos but the word christos it was too this is how we get the word christ now people think that it's a unique name but believe me this word christ it appears in the bible various times in the old testament but of course the word that is used in english is anointed it's not christ original in hebrew it's messiah for example if you read it is mentioned in the book of isaiah chapter number 45 verse number 1 it speaks about christ cyrus Cyrus was a pagan king in the old testament we find priests and kings they were anointed by almighty god in consecration to the position given to them as officially appointed we find in the book of genesis chapter number 31 verse number 13 it says a pillar is anointed of god pillar pillar is anointed of god further if you read it is mentioned in the book of leviticus chapter number 4 verse number 3 it says that the priest who is anointed if he commits sins and it continues for because chapter number eight verse number 10 it says tabernacle was anointed and all those things which were in the tabernacle they were anointed if you read it is mentioned the book of first samuels chapter number two verse number 10 it says that almighty god has exalted the horn of his anointed in all these Old Testament references, if you substitute the word anointed with the original Hebrew word Messiah, it will read Messiah Cyrus, Messiah Pillar, Messiah Tabernacle, 
and on and on. But believe me, all these references, anyhow, they do not belittle Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. He was anointed for his position as a reformer amongst the Jews. Let us analyze the position of Mary, the mother of Jesus, peace be upon him. In this Quran, there is one complete chapter. In complete chapter, chapter number 19, called as Surah Maryam, chapter Mary. In 66 books of the Protestants and 73 books of the Roman Catholics, you will not find a single chapter which is honored in the name of Mary. We find in the New Testament books named after James, Timothy, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and on and on. But there's not a single chapter which is named after Mary. The story of Jesus, peace be upon him, and his mother Mary is mentioned in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 42 onwards. The Quran says, Wa is kalatil malaikatu ya Maryamu. And behold, the angel said, O Mary, in Allah has that the Lord had chosen thee and purified thee and chosen thee above the womb of all nations. The Quran says that Mary was chosen above the woman of all nations. Such an honor given to Mary is not to be found even in the Christian Bible. She is chosen above the woman of all nations. The Quran continues, Ya Maria Muknuti Vasjudi Varkai Marrakin O Mary, prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This news is given to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Almighty God. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was an Arab and he is speaking to other Arabs. And in spite of the ongoing enmity and hatred between these two races, you know, Jews and the Arabs, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is telling his Arab brethren in the most sublime way, whether they believed him or not, that a Jewess, a lady from his opposition, was chosen above the women of all nations. Arab, he would honor a lady from his opposition. That too, belonging to a race which had been looking down upon the Arabs for past 3,000 years, as even today, they look down upon the Arab brethren. The answer is simple. He had no choice. He was not speaking from his own desire. As the Quran says in the next verse, This is the part of the tidings unseen, which we reveal to you, O Messenger, by inspiration. Had Muhammad وسلم, been the author of this book, Glorious Quran, he would have not failed to include in this book along with Mary, the mother of Jesus, his own mother Amina, his beloved wife Khatija. But no, he couldn't do this because he had no choice. This cannot be his handiwork. This is the word of Almighty God himself. <laughs>